All right, we have a Goodman air handler in an attic here. Looks like we are a three-ton unit. It is kind of ridiculous the way they installed it here with this return flex here. But according to the customer, it's not working at all. So I just like to check out the air handler first, make sure everything's good here, and then we will move downstairs to the outdoor unit. Check this. It looks like there's some condensate there, so it has worked a little bit. Customer said it wasn't working at all. Alright, let's get this pan. Let's check to make sure we have um, voltage between Y and common going to the outdoor unit. did here is they broke with um, these overflow switches they actually broke Y instead of breaking R so let's try oh well that broke right off when I tried to unscrew it got a little wire right there broke right off the wire nut when I tried to take it off so let's see if we have voltage there broke off broke both those yellows broke off so that might be our problem we gotta fix that when we're going all right we got these wires repaired now uh, we'll take a look make sure yeah 24 volts down there we have 25 volts now so we have power going to the outdoor unit low voltage power going to the outdoor unit all right we have we got the wires fixed we're going to test from y to common yeah, i don't know if you notice that down there you can barely see it we got 25 volts so we're good there all right now we'll move on to the outdoor unit all right just getting out here to the outdoor unit we have uh contactor is pulled in but our unit is not running so let's take a look here see if we have power we have no power I'm disconnected then so let's check to see if we have voltage there We either have an off or a tripped breaker, so let's find the breaker. We're going to leave the disconnect off until we get the breaker replaced. That way, if there's a short to ground or something like that, we can be out here when the unit does it. Okay, so um, I reset the breaker and started the unit back. It did start, it didn't trip right away. So we're gonna look, uh, check the compressor, check the fan blade. This thing did have a wicked wobble to it and if you look here see that's cracked these are cracked all that's cracked this unit's pretty old this unit's from 2001 oh, no. 2003 i'm sorry goodman does the first two numbers is your year so this is from 2003 it's a pretty old unit um, but we're gonna check for shorts and stuff like that Condenser coil is in really bad shape Really bad shape So we're probably looking at a unit replacement here, but if we can get it started and get them by um, That's what we'll do Take a look here 
as soon as I started to open this up to take a look at that wiring, I found that burnt up wire there. So probably where our breaker trip came from. Now what's crazy is the unit started and the fan started when I first started this up. So not sure how that happened. Maybe me opening the top, uh, finish separating the wire. That's definitely where our breaker trip probably came from, though. Right, got a little better look at it here. So we're going to get a splice connector and try to fix that. Mm -hmm. We're shortened right out on that screw. Let's get a splice connector and fix it. We got our connector put on there. Good and tight. Had to be careful here. We didn't have much wire to play with, so just cut back what was bad and put that on. So, looks like that's making a good connection now. All the other ones look okay. This motor is definitely newer than the unit is. Alright, let's get the fan put back on. Well, actually, I'm gonna. Uh, just check the compressor terminals and everything while I got this open. All right. There's some stuff living in there, but they don't look burnt up. They're not bad. Let's get our little brush. Let's get our little brush here and clean that out a little bit. won't do much but at least it'll give it some protection i think we're probably looking at a unit replacement here because look how bad this condenser coil is it's pretty bad i mean that is eating up right here on the water very nice piece of property but right here on the water so this thing is in pretty bad shape this will at least give it more protection until um, they replace this unit I decided to check this capacitor before i put the wires back on and this connector is kind of burn up a little bit. Let's see, you see it's kind of burned up, kind of melted. The capacitor's got some pretty rusty connections. We're gonna check that right now. Yeah, let's see, I'm gonna have to sand some of that down or get a, where I can get some bare metal to check that. Right, I got most of it cleaned up enough now where we can get a reading on the capacitor. We're looking at 40.8, so we're right, and it's a 45 microfarad capacitor. We are right at that 10% threshold, so we'll probably replace this capacitor or give the customer an option to replace it. Test the uh, the fan side now. Fan side's reading 4.9, so the fan side's not as bad as the compressor side, but still bad. All right, got everything back on. Um, I have not went to the customer about the capacitor yet. I wanted to see how the unit ran um, with everything in place, just in case we needed to go to her about anything else. Started. Definitely got a wobble to it.
trip greater because of that shorted condenser fan wire. We got that straightened out, which was our main issue. We're going to go to the customer about that run cap right now. All right, um, the, the, the customer pretty much knows this unit's got to be replaced, but they did go ahead and approve me replacing the capacitor, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Engage it by shorting the terminals together. Pull each terminal. five that is Ari Michaels part number this is their standard stock capacitor jarred made by Mars right. so we run into a little situation here with when you have these um, these big fat insulations on these on these wires see how thick that insulation is for this fan wire typically on that gauge wire you would use one of these connectors it's I believe a 14 to 16 um, 14 16 gauge wire connector but if you look that doesn't give you any protection the insulation of the wire doesn't fit in there so we have to use one of these bigger connectors so we can get the insulation of the wire in there and get more protection. We're gonna have to crimp that down. You see why I don't like using these ones? Because you have all that excess in there you gotta crimp down. But we're gonna use this one anyway um, so the insulation of the wire is protected and it goes inside there. We got our new connector on, we got our new capacitor on, and we are ready to start this unit back up. guys that's it for that one we got them all fixed up got them back up and running apparently the customer had just bought a new system for his office so he's not really interested in buying a new system this year um, but hopefully that repair gets them through the rest of this year so um, but we'll see we'll see so please like and subscribe for more content like this I've almost hit 100 subscribers so thank you for that all right guys I'm off to the next one